Everyone at the hospital is thinking about you. You've got lots of friends to lean on. I know. Thank you. to go over a few details with you before we begin the service. Sure. Thanks for being here. comprehended the depth of her anger. I probably should have. I probably should have a lot of things. I'm so sorry, Mac. Okay. No, 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 okay? Don't beat yourself up. Now's not the time, okay? Georgie wouldn't want that. Ben, I've been worried about you. We ran into traffic. Thank you for the ride. Yeah, I'm glad to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Make sure. Uh, everyone's here. As soon as the family is seated, we'll start. Oh, thank you. your faces and I see the story of my sister's life. The people, the incidents that shaped Georgie into the incredible person that she was. My sister was relentlessly positive, annoyingly so at times, or maybe that was just me. I'm the reason the phrase black sheep was invented, but we all know that. It's just Georgie and I were so different. It was hard for me to believe that I wasn't adopted. But the truth is we both were. By an incredible guy who had no idea what he was signing up for. Nothing in Mac's life prepared him for fatherhood, but he hung steady. And I'm speaking for Georgie when I say you made her feel special every day. You were so confident in her, it was impossible for her to not feel confident in herself. You were the greatest gift in Georgie's life. <sighs> Dylan, I know I was never really nice to you, but I am indebted to you because you showed my sister true romantic love and that is something that we all hope for but some of us can never find and Georgie held you in her heart until the day that she died. Bobby, Georgie loved you not just as a surrogate mom but as a friend and a confidant always stepped up when she needed you. Thank you for loving her with such an open heart. Robin, 
You were always the sister that I could never get it together enough to be. Georgie knew that she could count on you. You're always there just to talk to her, laugh with her, or just give her really good advice. <laughs> you graced her life, and I'm grateful she had you. And Spinelli, Jordy had a lot of friends, but you were the best. Once she met you, she never felt alone because she knew you were there for her whenever she needed, day or night. And I know I was never really nice to you either, but I'm really glad that my sister found a friend who understood her. There's one more person that I would like to single out because above anyone else, she deserves special attention. Our mother. say about our mother? Let me think. Hmm. Well, not much, I guess, since she dumped us on Mac a few years back and never looked back. <laughs> My mother is a Florence Nightingale. She ran off to take care of our ailing great-grandmother. There's nothing wrong with that, except it was just an excuse, because the truth is, my mom got bored with her family life a long time before she got on that plane to Texas probably started those nights she ran off to play Mystery Solving Adventure Girl. We all knew it wouldn't be long before she wanted to take on that role permanently. She just needed to figure out a way to get rid of her inconvenient children. Maxie, stop. Don't do this. To me, getting dumped wasn't the worst part. It was the way she forced my sister to be okay with the abandonment to make herself feel better. Keep believing she was progressive and unconventional instead of just a selfish bitch who didn't want anything to do with her own children. Please, Maxie, that's enough. You're not honoring your sister by humiliating her mother. Being abandoned by her mother was a fact of my sister's life, and I think it needs to be addressed. And all of you could tiptoe around my mom and act like it's wonderful that she's here, but where the hell was she when it really mattered? Felicia Jones decided a long time ago she didn't want to be a mom anymore. And you don't get to sail into my sister's funeral pretending that you are one. You have no right to be here. So either you leave, or I will. 